excited right now. It's gonna be the best day ever because we are working with my ultimate chef idol, Guy Fieri, everybody. Thank you for having me. This is actually a big deal. She's been on my court all the time, so I really had to take a deep breath and jump. Throw me a bone and, and come to Pop Sugar. <laughs> Guy, what I there love we is go. we've seen you go yes. across the country showing us all your best yes. spots on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Yes. With over 300 episodes and counting, it's certainly one of my favorite shows. Plus, you have a ton of restaurants yep. all across the world. Yeah. And I and serve as a judge yes, on your show. A fantastic judge, Guys by the way. She is, she is climbing the ladder of success. This dish, knowing you, it's gonna be full of flavor and pretty hearty. Well, I'll tell you, when I talk to people about food, they always go, so you're that dude that eats all the chili dogs uh -huh. and the fried pizza and the thing. And don't get me wrong, I had that era of my life. It was called college. Um, <laughs> but I don't really eat that way. Actually, I'm a pretty healthy eater. You're you on set with me. You green juice every single morning. Yeah, a green juice, uh, big juicer. But as a chef and as a dad and as a husband and as a as a dude that loves to cook, I'm as spaghetti squash yeah. as they come. Yeah. So yeah. this dish right here, so this, this spaghetti squash, we'll go ahead and bust into this. Okay. Um, and this is one of those things, you know, like everybody says to me, I want to make something that's kid friendly. This is a super kid friendly dish, just not that part. Uh -huh. Okay, when it comes to the yeah. big knife, yeah. let's just not have them do it. But kids want to do they everything. They can help out, just don't have them cut their finger off. Yeah. You're the dad of two, so is this a recipe that you enjoy with your family? Oh, listen, I didn't even tell Ryder. Ryder's our youngest, Ryder's uh, almost 11. When I first made this dish, um, you know, I made it for my sister, but I thought, how do I make it kid friendly? How do I get Ryder to dig it? And the way I did that was I didn't tell them what it was. But I didn't yeah. make a big deal yeah. about it. I didn't get into this whole thing like, oh my gosh. Okay, now listen, if you don't like it, don't worry, we'll make you some tater tots. No! The beauty about spaghetti squash is that the texture of it, if you like al dente pasta, mm -hmm. you're gonna love spaghetti yeah. squash. It really has, it's very toothsome. Mm -hmm. um, and there's great flavor in it. And the thing is, healthy, you won't feel guilty. We need a towel we under we there. We 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 <laughs> Getting the red I'm soft. knocking stuff over on your set. I'm gonna pour this out okay. of the shot glass that you just recently used. Uh, a little bit of olive oil, just a touch. If you wanna just go ahead and okay. hit that in both sides. A little oregano, fresh herbs go great in this. A little bit of salt. There we go, a little red chili flake. Okay, so now we got that. Let me get a little okay. bit of the cracked pepper. Okay, fresh cracked black pepper. A lot of people don't like kale because sometimes it, kale was treated like collard greens and it was cooked with that big rib inside of it. No one now, wants a rib. If you, but if you're going to cook it like collard mm -hmm. greens, I don't have any problem with the rib because okay. it cooks down as nice soften. and tender. Yeah. So otherwise, if you just get a little handle on it and then pull it, usually my theory is, is when it's tender enough that it can break off, then it's tender enough to eat. Okay? So I'll take some of the kale. Okay, now you're getting out of control. Back to the show. Now we'll take this kale. What we're gonna look at now is just getting a real simple squared off cut to do a roast. The key to this is, is making sure that we take that moisture off so it doesn't sit there on its own and steam and not get crispy. We want it to crisp up. So this is almost like the croutons on top of the spaghetti squash. Exactly. Okay, All right, so we got, we got that dried out. moisture out of there? Okay. We got that dried out. Go ahead and, and okay. put it on top of the tray. Just drizzle a little bit of olive oil. A touch of some salt, cracked pepper. So into the oven with this, and we'll just let these sit there and dry out. Guy, this looks awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. And you know what's so awesome about it is the textural variance. Mm -hmm. So we've got the beautiful kale chips, which you gotta try one of those. Okay. They take a little mm -hmm. bit of time to do, mm -hmm. and you gotta be focused, but you wanna talk about awesome and a lot cheaper than buying them at the uh, at the store in the package. Oh, these taste way better than the stuff in the bags. When I show people what's in this book, yes, we do have a burger in there. I mean, do my kids love burgers without question? But there's a lot of stuff like this, like this uh, spaghetti squash that we're doing here. The, I'll eat this for dinner. Yeah. When it's just Lori and I, this is what we'll dig into. So go ahead and grab that. This right and now. here's the beauty of this. So simple. Now don't don't push real hard. I mean, you know this, okay. but I'm just showing for everybody that's watching this. Don't push it real hard and just kind of scrape it lightly. That's how you get those spaghetti squash drinks. And take it right okay. down. If we've cooked it enough, we should be able to take it almost right down to the uh, to the skin of the squash. Now we've got some really good Parmesan cheese. So just grate that in. Okay. There we go. Mm. Oh, make it rain. We've crushed Jeez. those chips. Okay, now okay. we take that, 
just give it a little toss. You know, inside of, besides just this great look of this dish, is what we've created here by adding in these crunchy kale chips is the textural mm. difference, and we yeah. need that. Okay, mm. so, so now. So you would enjoy this as an entree, or would you add something to it to make it? it listen, now you're, you're open mm -hmm. to, let's hit it with a little bit more top, cheese. Yeah. Now you're open. Mm to take so this good. wherever you want. Now, me personally, I'd maybe take a little vinegar to this, maybe take a little more chili flake mm -hmm. to it. Um, but here's the beauty about this. I like to eat and to be able to sit down and enjoy all of that with no guilt. That's awesome, yeah. Come on, and try, I'm jumping uh -huh. it. Tell me what you think. No princess bite like we have to take on, you know, regular. Please. Mm. Oh my God. It crushes. The cheese. That, mm. little, that little salt kick. You got a sweetness mm -hmm. coming on from the spaghetti squash. The spice from the red pepper. This is so good. I remember the I first time. I can see why you would enjoy this as an entree. Exactly. I can't wait to make this for my family. This is delicious. Thank you so much for coming to our set. Uh, this, You're I, this, the best. Listen, this is the first of <laughs> many visits, trust me. You're definitely coming back, and I love that these are recipes that you make with your family, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Pop Sugar Food, give us a like, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.